Hey everybody, Will here from Studio Zombie 3D with my follow-up review of the new Anycubic Viper. Let's start with a look at the hot end setup right now. Now, with your harness removed, you need to remove four screws on the back of the shroud, and then you'll be able to pop the hot end shroud right off. Now, let's just zoom in here a little bit so we can get a little closer look at the hot end setup on here. Now in the shroud, you have dual 4010 blowers and a 4010 for the hot end heatsink plus the LED light, all connected via the breakout board, which makes replacing any parts that need replacing quick and easy on the Viper. Now at the bottom here you can see that it is a volcano style hot end. The nozzle also acts as a pressure sensor for your bed leveling system on the Viper with your wiring harness and pressure sensor up top here. Now let's take a look at the dual gear extruder. Just remove the three mounting screws on the top here and you can pop the unit right off of the printer. Be sure to hold on to your motor as you're removing it so it doesn't drop onto your build plate. Now it's a dual gear Titan style extruder. It is made out of plastic but the housing feels very solid. The gears look to be of high quality and have a bit of grease for smooth extrusion. All in all, a solid extruder included that can handle normal and flexible filaments with no issues that I have found so far with this unit. It's very simple to pull apart and reassemble, making cleaning the extruder very simple if you get a lot of filament built up on the gears, which can happen after a while when you're printing. The time I've had with the Viper has been really good. Everything just works, and it works very well out of the box. It's perfect for beginners with fast, easy setup and auto leveling, or even advanced users. It has replaced my Custom Ender 3 as my main printer. My one complaint, if any, really is the absence of linear advance and junction deviation with the firmware update can add easily. The Viper is a rock solid unit with fast, great quality printing that I highly recommend to everybody. Thanks for watching guys and here's some clips of the Viper in action. Thanks everybody for checking out my quick review here of the Viper and look forward to more videos about the Viper and 3D printing in general. And as always, subscribe and check out my Instagram to see what's going on currently with Studio Zombie 3D. Thanks for watching everybody.